if you have $10 and this, which is a photo album, you can create and start an emergency fund. Let me show you how. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. Thank you, thank you for stopping by. Wanda is my name and saving money is my game. If you're not saving for emergencies, let's make it yours too. Let's save more in 2024. Let's save more money in 2024 and we'll be glad that we did. And I'm asking if you would subscribe to this channel, click the thumbs up button, drop me a comment and let me know what do you think of this video? Is it helpful? Is it a great idea? I'm very curious to know. And would you share this video because there may be someone that could use this content also. And would you click the notification bell so you may be notified every time I upload a new video. I want to say thank you for being here. Welcome to everyone and I hope everyone is doing well. And I've been creating savings challenges and asking you all to join me in these savings challenges to help you. Because saving for emergencies is important and that's what these savings challenges are all about. Saving for emergencies. Do you know the average American cannot even cover a $100 emergency? And the reason that is is because they're not putting away for emergencies. They, be, they may be making a lot of money, six figures, but if we're making this money and not put it away for emergencies, then when the emergency come, we'll be running around trying to get a payday loan, a title loan, personal loan. You know, whereas if we would take money every time we get some money, and it will just be small amounts of money. And put it away, put it to the side, and we'll have money for emergencies. Because they come and they can't be avoided and you wanna have some money to tap into. And I know you're probably thinking, why do you keep going on and on and on and on about this? Because, because I'm finding that people are not saving for emergencies. Uh, just yesterday, in yesterday's video, I kind of mentioned someone I knew whose check didn't show up. And I don't know if they had money for emergencies. I don't know if they had money put way to the side. Cause I don't know this person like that and I didn't ask them. Well, you know, I don't know them like that to ask them. But um, the check did come. The day before that, it hadn't come, but it did finally come. But still, just think if it hadn't come, you know, we don't want to be in that position and we don't have to be in that position. All we got to do is take small amounts of money like this. This is a $10 bill, see? And put it away every time we get some money. If we get paid every week, if we get paid every two weeks, if we get paid every once a month. So if we get paid once a month, if somebody gets paid once a month, it's four weeks in a month, Take out $40, that's $10 a week, four times. Four times 10, that's $40. So put away $40 every month. If you get paid or every two weeks, take out $20. That's uh, two tens every two weeks. Or if you get paid once a week, and it, not just when you get paid, but whenever you get some money. Take $10 out, like that, and put it away to the side. So it can, be, and, and be patient, consistent, and disciplined. Consistently adding to it, the discipline not touching it. So when the time comes, you will have money to tap into. I've been doing these savings challenges since January 2024, and I've been doing one every day. I put money in one every day to show you it can be done no matter what your income. If you have a low income, surely, surely, surely you could take out $10, okay? And another thing that helps us, we need to 
Live on less than what we make. Watch our spending. Stay out of consumer debt, like credit cards. You know, not shop. Buy a lot of clothes and shoes and purses. Only get the basic necessities, you know? And then the things like that, you'll see extra money. Yes, you will. And, you know, try to do whatever you can to pay off credit cards, pay off a car loan, you know, by getting, by doing things to increase our income, increase your income, or, you know, get side hustles to help pay off things or to help put away money for emergencies. And that's what this channel is about now talking about saving for emergencies. And I encourage you to join me in one of these savings challenges. Like I said, I have seven all together. And today's savings challenge is savings challenge number three, which I do on Wednesdays. And it is cash stuffing a photo album. See? Uh, that I bought out of Dollar Tree, $4.25. And this is not a sponsored video. And um, I bought this last year, around September of 2023, and that's when Dollar Tree had school supplies in. And um, after all the school supplies gone, was gone, this was gone too. So now Dollar Tree is getting their school supplies in, and they may have this in now. So you want to. Maybe go in there and see if you could find one. Well, I was in there and I saw school supplies, but I didn't kind of look around to see if they had these. A lot of things from Dollar Tree, they are seasonable items. Meaning, you know, they only come in at a certain season or, you know, some things are restockable items. But something like this may not be something that's restockable. Now, if you can't find one of these in Dollar Tree, you can also go on Amazon, Timu, Etsy, places like that and find a photo album or you can check Walmart or Target and see if they have things like this. Okay, now this photo album happens to have 50 pages and I've been stuffing it with $10 bills, okay? Since January 2024. And... Let me show you. Oh, another thing. When we're saving money in our house, which I think is a good that idea to have money in your home because what if the bank is closed? What if the bank shuts down? What if your account is frozen? Things like that happened. Just the other day, a man asked me, um, was the computer system down at my job and I told him I said I don't know because I don't work on computers and he said well it was down at his job and a lot of people on his job didn't get their paychecks and he said he went to the bank the system was down nobody could get any money out of the bank and you know we don't think these things gonna happen but they can but if they do when we save the money and have it in a safe a secure location, which is waterproof, fireproof, and theft proof, you will have some money to tap into, okay? So make sure we have money at home, which I call right now money, in case there's a mercy right now and you can't get to the bank. Or, or you know, like I said, I couldn't believe the man was telling me that people couldn't get money out the bank. Well, one time I went to the bank and the network was down, and I couldn't. Also, that hasn't been that long ago. That's been about mm, like 10 days ago. No, about 14 days ago, something like that. So yeah, it had been raining all day, all day, all day. And um, I went to the personal teller. It's like an ATM that you can go up to and touch the screen and it's open after the bank is closed. But anyway, wasn't able to get anything. So yeah. We want to make sure we have some right now money, okay? So let me go ahead and count this and show you how much I've saved so far. Okay, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 
70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, so that's $290, and I'm gonna add this 10. So that makes $300, wow, which is, like I said, it's 50 pages in here, and when they're all stuffed, it will equal to $500, which is half of $1,000, which is our emergency fund that will cover emergencies up to $1,000. But we don't want to stop there. We want to continue to save three to six months of our expenses in case there's a job loss, home repair, car repair, medical bills, etc. Okay? All right. And... Like I said, I encourage you, join me in this savings challenge if you're not saving anything. And I'm doing this video to encourage and motivate someone to start saving for emergencies if they're not. Okay? I hope this video was helpful. I hope something was said to help you. You all have a safe, wonderful day and happy savings. <laughs>